goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be doing an updated video for Franklin's big clothes pack. Alright. Inside this clothes pack right here. Let's go through a couple of these screenshots. Inside this clothes pack right here is going to give Frank some new shirts, new jackets, uh, new pants, uh, the whole shebang, you know what I mean? It comes with sweats also, Echo, and all different types of uh, name brands and stuff in here, man. This is uh, one of my favorites. It's actually one of the very first clothes mods that I have ever installed was uh, this one because it gives Frank a ton of different clothes, all right? So this is the one that we are going to be installing today. It is uh, Franklin's Big Clothes Pack. It is by uh, Polkin, Polkin, if I'm correct. Um, this is by him, all right? Shout out to the creator of this. When you get to this link right here, what you want to do is scroll down where it says description and you want to read the description first, all right? I encourage everybody to always read the description before you download any mod or script, all right? Once you have done that, you want to come over here where it says 3.6 current, all right? You want to come and click this little green button that says download. Once you click this green button that says download, it's actually going to lead you right here to the media fire page for the clothes pack, all right? I guess this pack is a little bit too uh, big to um, upload on GTA 5 Mods website, so that little green arrow will lead you right here where you can download it at media fire, all right? Once you get here, just go ahead and uh, select this green button that says download to download the clothes pack. All right. Next up, the next thing that we are going to need is the easy mod folder for SP player mods. All right. Um, this one I like to use uh, to install all of the clothes for either Michael, Trevor or Franklin. All right. So once you get here, it's going to be a link down in the description that will lead you to this page. What I want you to do is scroll down, always read the description first, all right? Once you're done reading the description, what you want to do is come over here and you want to download 1.2 current, all right? You want to download the 1.2 current, come over here and just select this little green arrow right here, all right? Now let's go ahead and jump into the requirements. As of I'm showing you the requirements, I will not be installing the requirements, but I will have links in the description to videos showing you how to install those if you haven't already, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into the requirements. The first one you are going to need is Scripthook V, all right? Then you will need community scripthookv.net. And I will be using menu, uh, the trainer, in order to access the clothes. I will be using menu and last but not least you will need open four okay so those are the pretty much the four basic requirements that um uh that you will need for this tutorial today all right so once you have went through all those requirements or either have those installed already i have a uh, folder right here on the left hand side that says new folder and this is where i have my downloads at all right we're not showing how to install open four or the others like i explained earlier you're going to have to check the links in the description for those videos all right we're going to make this short and sweet all right so right now what i have over here is closed pack and then i have the emf sp 1.2 all right that's our uh easy mod folder right there okay so on the right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up right here as you can see now what we need to do is go ahead and open up our mods folder. And if you're asking or wondering, well, hey, I don't have a mods folder. Well, that must mean you did not click the link in the description to watch how to install Open4. So go and check that out. And after you check that video out, you will guarantee have a mods folder. All right. So let's go ahead and open up the mods folder right here inside of our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And we're going to go ahead and navigate to our DLC packs. 64 and DLC packs all right now let's go over here to our downloads and what we're gonna do is open up the EMF folder open up the EMF folder inside the EMF folder is gonna be another folder that says mod all right let's open up that folder inside that folder is gonna be another folder that says DLC packs open up that folder as well 
Now this is the folder that we are going to be installing right here is the EMF single player. So what we want to do is just go ahead and select EMF single player folder, drag and drop it over here to our DLC packs. Just like so, am I right? I just added my EMF single player to my DLC packs. All right, now that that is done, we can go ahead and press Grand Theft Auto 5 right here just to get back to the directory and let's go back to our downloads. All right, select back, back, all right. Now I'm back at my downloads. Now from this point forward, we wanna open up our open four, okay? So go ahead and open up your open four. All right, I have my open four opened up right here on my right hand side and on the left hand side, I still have my downloads. OK, so what we want to do right now is go ahead and add um, EMF single player to our DLC list. OK, so um, let's go back over to our downloads. This is what I like to do. Let's go back inside of our EMF folder and then go back into the mods folder open up the DLC packs and we're gonna leave it right here okay let's go to our open four all right now um, let's go to update and then update.rpf okay um, now from this point you definitely want to make sure that you have edit mode on if you did not receive this red banner at all it's probably because you don't have edit mode on so go ahead and select edit mode right up here you'll know it's on when it's highlighted blue all right now, once you have this uh, red banner right here, it should say copy to mods folder. If this is your first time, it will say copy to mods folder. Go ahead and select copy to mods folder. If it is already copied to your mods folder, then select show in mods folder. All right. So after we are done doing that, let's click on common, then data. Now let's scroll down here and find your DLC list dot XML. Okay. Let's find this list right here. Right click with the mouse and select edit. Once you select edit, a new window will pop up. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom of this list. And what we wanna do is take the last item line. Whatever the last item line is, just go ahead and copy it. All right. Just like I'm doing right now, I'm copying in that line. Place the cursor behind that line and press enter on the keyboard. That will open up a new space. We're gonna go ahead and paste that same line we copied right below it, all right? So you should have pretty much two of the same lines at the bottom, okay? Now let's go back over to our EMF single player folder that we left open. And we're just gonna click on that into the name highlights and we just wanna copy that name, okay? Once that name is copied, let's go back down to our DLC list. Let's go at the bottom right here in the name inside right here we're just gonna paste over that name by highlighting over it. Right click with the mouse and select paste, okay? So now you should have a new item DLC pack line with EMF single player right at the bottom, okay? Once you have that, let's go ahead and click save. All right, and we're all done there. Let's go ahead and select file and close all archives all right that'll bring us back here to our game directory now what we want to do is go over to our downloads press back back now the next folder that we want to install of course is our close pack all right so let's open up the close pack folder inside that close pack folder is going to be a bunch of folders with all of our clothes that we're going to be installing all right so what we want to do right now is go back to our open four and this is where we're going to go we're going to go inside of our mods folder go inside update then go inside 64 and go in dlc packs next we want to go inside uh, emf single player open up uh, emf single player folder and then go in dlc.rpf and then x64 now if you uh look right here we want to open up the streamed pitch props rpf okay we want to open up streamed pitch props rpf open that one up inside that one we want to select the character that we are installing these for i'm installing these for franklin so i'm gonna go ahead and pick player one okay player one p is franklin i'm gonna open that one up and as you can see it's going to be empty now let's go back over to our downloads where we had the caps backwards and the caps front. Let's go ahead and open up the caps backwards folder, okay? 
once we open up that folder we can go ahead and highlight all these files that's inside the folder and we're going to drag and drop all these files right into our player 1p folder all right just like so so you should see all the files right after you drag and drop them all right now let's go back over to our downloads press back and then we could go to our caps front folder all right caps front let's open up that one inside caps front folder there will be more files just go ahead and highlight all the files inside that folder and you want to drag and drop those right here into the player 1p folder all right so you should have um, exactly all of these files right here okay now that has been done in open 4 let's go ahead and select the back button right here once you select the back button select it again and that'll bring you back right here okay now <clears throat> what we want to do next is open up stream pads underscore players this one that I've highlighted right here this is the next one that we want to open up stream pads underscore players dot rpf open that one up and the same thing goes uh, just like the last one I'm going to be using Franklin so I'm going to be opening up player one folder all right so open up the player one folder inside the player one folder is going to be empty all right let's go back over to our downloads and just select the back button right here all right now for the rest of these folders all the way down we are going to be installing all of the material inside each folder into the player one folder okay so let's start off with hoodies open up hoodies inside hoodies has all these files we want to highlight every file inside this folder and we're just going to drag and drop them right here all right drag and drop boom now let's go back to our downloads and select the jacket folder all right select the jacket folder highlight every file inside that jacket folder drag and drop it right into our open form all right now let's go back to our downloads press back go down one and select jackets okay it's another folder that says jackets go ahead and open up that one inside that folder is going to be another folder with two more files right here okay um, let's see if we click on good all right now what we want to do is go ahead and select these two right here and we're going to drag and drop those two into open four now we can go inside hood and open up the hood folder and you have an option with black and white I'm gonna click on the black one right here and drag and drop that one in here if a and then this this one um, is a choice okay you don't um, have to install both of them it's just one or the other okay I went ahead and installed the black one all right once you're done making your choice and dragging and dropping it into open four let's select back select back again now we want to keep going down the list we have jeans folder next let's open up the jeans folder inside the jeans folder we are going to have some more files let's highlight all the files inside that folder and we're going to drag and drop all those right here into open four all right as you can see if you look in your open four you should start seeing all these files of clothes now okay so let's go back over to our downloads select back go down to the next folder which is jerseys open up jerseys where you're going to take all of these files inside drag and drop them in the open form all right select back in our downloads go to the next folder which is long sleeves open up long sleeves folder grab drag and drop all right go down to the next one which is shirts open up shirts Take everything inside shirts, drag and drop. All right, going down to track pants, highlight all the files inside, drag and drop. Let's go back, go to t-shirts. We're in the t-shirts folder. You want to grab all the files inside, drag and drop in the open four. All right. Then the last folder that we have is watch. Open up the watch folder. And inside here is just one file. We're just gonna drag that one file into open four and drop it. All right. So if you could look in my open four right here, I have a whole lot of files now. Okay, these are all our clothes right here. Okay. So now that that has been added into our open four, that is all the clothes. We can go ahead and select file 
and then select close all archives all right now to close all archives now we can exit out of open form and now we can minimize any other windows that we have since we have installed both of our mods we can minimize all these windows right here and run the game Once you spawn into your game and everything, you, you, you won't look like me like how I look like right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. What you want to do is open up your menu. Um, actually, we're going to be using menu. And I'm going to open up menu and I'm going to scroll to uh, player options. Act yeah, player options, I believe. Yep. And then we go to wardrobe inside player options. Inside wardrobe, I want you to select your front view. All right, once you select your front view right there, um, let's go ahead and scroll down to our torso. Okay, we're gonna select torso. All right, now uh, let's go ahead. Oh, before we do that, let me go down. And um, which one is it? This one, yeah, there we go. All right, now let's go to torso. Now inside torso, um, I believe if you go to uh, category four right here, you will see uh, his shirt right there. Okay, um, let me back out so Frank can put up this gun. There we go. All right, there we go, Frank. <laughs> All right, back inside torso. When you go inside torso, you will come to the shirt right here. And then um, if you go over down to on um, texture at the bottom and select over, then you will be able to go through the different shirts that he has for uh, category four all right got a lot of nice shirts in here y'all y'all definitely got to go through these all all right now um let me make sure i got his hands out too there we go all right all right there we go and your feet too <laughs> uh i don't know what happened to my character when i turned back on the game this is uh shoes there we go Alright, there we go. Alright, now back in torso. If we go uh, right here to 7 and go down to texture, he has different shirts for category 7 as well. We got some plaid shirts in there. Nice little shirts for Frank. Alright, in the next category, if we keep going, we have uh, 11. Under 11, if we go down to the textures, then you'll be able to change the different uh, shirts he has for the long sleeve shirts. Okay, we went through the short sleeves. This is the long sleeves. And they have different designs than the short sleeves as well, all right? So pretty much every every um, clothing item he have in here is designed differently. He has some pretty cool shirts in here as well, y'all. Like I said, this is a big clothing pack right here. All right, let's go to the next category. Um, this one right here in 13. Uh, if you scroll down to textures, then you will be able to change um, his uh, zip up hoodie. Got Adidas there, got different colors of the hoodie. Um, we got another Adidas one right here. Another Adidas one. And as you can see, uh, the shirts change also. Got an Echo shirt under there. So we got some nice hoodies right here. Puma. All right. Now let's go to the next one. All right. We got the track, the track jackets right here. Track suit jackets, I believe. Um, that's at 17. And if you go down to textures, then you'll be able to change the texture of his uh, track jackets. All right. Changes the shirt as well as the jacket. So he has a lot of designs in here, y'all. Echo and Adidas. All right, let's go ahead and see the others that he has. We keep going up.
he also has basketball jerseys right here all right if we uh basketball jerseys you will find that 31 uh, it'll be a type 31 and then you scroll down the textures and go through the different basketball jerseys that he has even have the old Bob Marley jersey right there Nike Nike Air just hit it <laughs> suns out guns out uh, bring me the horizon so he has uh, a couple of different little uh, basketball jerseys right there let's see did we go to the top I think that is all for the tops right there all right okay so let's go ahead and check out the legs let's scroll down to the next category which is legs inside legs I'm going to start from the beginning right over here okay so the legs will be these right here number eight when you get to uh, number eight it'll be type eight under legs and then go down to the texture and uh, if you scroll over right there you will be able to change the different jeans right here okay all right now let me um, get out of this right quick and I'm gonna turn him around right there because I want you to be able to see the uh, the pockets on the back of the jeans all have designs also and they will change when you change the different jeans all right so as you can see we have different little designs in the back of the jeans some echoes and stuff like that all right and uh, let's see what other pants we have because we have some sweatpants also so let's go to a different type under legs and we have found the sweatpants this will be the sweatpants will be under legs type 13 okay um, go down to texture and you'll be able to go through the different textures of uh, of his uh, sweatpants let's go back to front view all right just so we can see this a little bit more and um, matter of fact let me make it a little brighter there we go all right with the weather option extra sunny there we go all right back to wardrobe front view and legs all right we were in legs all right we got um tasty colors right there we got echo unlimited sweats right here in different colors there are some things on the back as well so let me get frank to turn around so we can show you the designs on the back or on the side shall I say there we go so these have designs on the side little stripes and whatnot all right and I think that is all for the legs so this is double check to do yeah that will be all for the legs right there all right so for the legs we have the sweatpants at type 13 under legs category uh, those will be the sweatpants in type 13 and if we go down to type 8 that will be the the jeans okay that'll be the different pair of jeans that we could uh we could wear down here all right we even got these just clean right here all right so uh, that is it right there. If also you want to figure out how to do this with Simple Trainer, I'm going to show you real quick with Simple Trainer. Open up your Simple Trainer, and then you want to go down to Model Spawning, and you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, what's well, near the bottom. You want to pick Close Menu, that's near the bottom. If you can see on my menu, I'm picking Close Menu. And then in Close Menu, what you want to do is just go to Upper, and then um, you could move right or left to select whatever clothes and then once you select it go ahead and press uh, 5 on the numpad on your key on your keyboard on the numpad press 5 or on your controller press X or A all right and that will that will go through the different textures of his uh, jerseys or whatever top that you are on all right so that is for the jerseys Let's go over here and go back to uh, 
there we go this will be the track jackets it'll be upper 18 and simple trainer and we also have these right here the hooded jackets right here we could just scroll through those types also and the long sleeve shirts will be 12 upper 12 and the shorts will oh yeah these dress shirts we got uh, some dress shirts right there too and then um, the short sleeve shirts will be number five all right well, we could go through those all right and the lower let's back up a little bit the lower um, is nine for the jeans right here we can select our jeans this right here isn't supposed to look like this but it looks pretty good like that with the same texture that's on uh, the shirt it looks pretty good <laughs> almost looks like an outfit <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, that's how you would go and pick these. And uh, also the sweatpants in Simple Trainer is uh, on lower 14, okay? So inside the clothes menu will be upper and lower, all right? So let's go ahead and get him right with the jeans. There we go. All right, y'all. Well, since I showed you how to install all the clothes menu and the easy mods folder, then you're all set to go. Um, stay tuned check back with me tomorrow I will also show you how to install a big shoes pack for Franklin okay and this shoes pack comes with a bunch of Jordans Adidas and all types of stuff y'all so uh, definitely stay tuned in for that but if this video helped y'all out to install this clothes pack go ahead and smash that like button for your boy and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5 y'all this is Games of Graphics, me and Big Bowling Ass Frank. We out of here until next time, y'all. Get a you motherfuckers.